So continuing from the last video, there's a, a, a bunch of things we can do with a select statement. In fact, uh, we will do, spend most of our time in the class just talking about the different angles and uh, functionality that select provides. Um, here I have product ID and product, product name. Uh, I, I can be completely flexible as to what I want to do here. I can say, hey, I want the product ID column twice, which is useless in a contrived example, but it does show or demonstrate. That's a more official name for it, I guess. It does demonstrate the um, the flexibility of the select. So essentially, what happens? What comes after select needs to be a list of columns, and one of those columns, as you saw in the previous video, can be splat or asterisk, whichever one you wish to call, or select stars, another way people call it. Um, but star mainly says all columns. So notice when I run this, and I'm hitting F5 to execute this query, I receive product name, product ID, product ID, and then splat, which gives me all the columns in the order that they are defined in the result set. There is an or My result set in this case is simply the products table. We'll see how to do larger result sets later. But for now, the result set is just products. So when I say splat, I receive the columns in the order that they are defined in the products table. So if I hit the plus sign next to products and hit the plus sign next to columns, we'll see the first column is product ID. Whoopsie. Next column, come on, do it. It's product name, supplier ID. So product ID, product name, supplier ID, so on and so forth. Anyway, I can be super flexible here. I can, you know, say I want multiple columns all the columns three times for whatever contrived example reason I wish to come up with because I am an instructor at a university. Hit a five, run it, there's all the columns, and we should see product ID again, right here, yep, there's all the columns again, and oh, product ID again, so splat, 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 so that's what we're receiving there. Um, select, essentially when we say select here, well the syntax is hopefully is pretty straightforward, we're selecting something from something. So select flat from products. Uh, basically we have a select which defines the columns we want and then the from which defines where to pull, pull those columns from. I mean that's I guess that's why they call it from. Go figure. Um, the select we can put uh, any sort of expression up here that we wish. For example I can say five from products, so select five, hit F5, and notice I receive a column with no name and a bunch of fives. Well, if you notice, the fives, the number of fives I have is 77. I'm going to say, let's put a splat out here. So we're going to select five, and comma, and then all the other columns. Run it again. Scroll to the bottom. Notice there are 77 records in this product table. So when I say select five or select any constant here, basically I'm 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 pulling a new column value that I wish to tag next to all the all, uh, all the other columns. So basically row by row, SQL Server executes and says, okay, well, we're going to put a 5, and then we're going to pull everything from this row. And then it goes to the next row, and it says, okay, I'm going to put a 5, and I'm going to pull everything else from this row. Now, embedding a 5 like this is kind of useless. Let's, um, let, me sh let me show you another somewhat contrived example. I can, I can do uh, expressions here, product ID plus product ID, and it, it doesn't make sense to add the product's IDs, but, but I'm going to, just to show how this works. So uh, run it. So have we, here we have no column name. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 6. So, so you can put expressions in here, mathematical expressions, uh, plus, minus, divide, times, that kind of thing. We'll also see some other things you can do there. Um, I can also, you know, I don't even have to select from something. I can just say select 5. And I'm going to highlight this, which means when I hit F5, which is the same thing as clicking on execute, um, SQL Server knows since I've highlighted just this query, that's all it should execute. Or SQL Server Management Studio knows that. That's all that it should execute. It shouldn't execute both these queries. So I'm going to hit F5. And notice we just selected 5. It still returns a table. There's just one col co one row and one column. Now, if you notice from the previous um, query up here, when I run that, well, I guess I don't need to highlight it since it's the only one in there. But uh, we we received a no column name. I can put a column name after. It's typical to say as my contrived 
column because that's it's it's uh totally made up or yeah let's just my contrived value whatever run it and see we have a column name now um, it's also optional to have the as in there I've seen about half and half some people like it some people don't anyway so that's a little bit more of the flexibility of select and being able to select uh, the return value of expressions and those expressions can also be constants as we saw with the five or you can put whatever constant you wish in there.